Most business owners make the fatal assumption that if you are running a business in which the price you charge for your products or services is greater than what they cost you, everything will be okay. You'll be profitable and successful. Profit is good, don't get me wrong, but it is not enough on its own. To be sustainable, your business must also have a healthy cash flow. Now, here's the interesting part. You cannot afford to rely solely on the numbers in your profit and loss statement to paint an accurate picture of financial health for your business. And if you were like 97% of business owners out there, you were trying to do just that. Now, you might be asking yourself, how do I know that? One of the leading accounting software companies in the world recently did some research with their customers. They asked entrepreneurs just like you which reports they were running each month and what they were expecting those reports to tell them about how their businesses were operating. Out of the more than 300 valuable reports that they could have run to measure their results, 97% were relying solely on a profit and loss and aged debtors report each month. And most of you thought that this was enough to run your business safely and successfully. I would like to explain to you why this is a problem. The majority of businesses use something called accrual accounting. I'm sure you've used, you've heard that term used by your bookkeeper or accountant before. So why is that important? It means that when preparing your books and financial statements, your bookkeeper or accountant are not recording spending as money spent, but rather they were, are recording the money that you spent on things like assets and expenses, plus money committed to be spent at some future point in time. So, for example, if you purchase some stock on account with 30-day terms, accrual accounting would include the total value of that purchase on the day that you made it, not when you paid the supplier in 30 or more days. Similarly, when a sale is invoiced to one of your customers with 30-day terms, the value of that invoice is included in accrued earnings i.e. your profit and loss statement, even though the money won't be received for possibly another 30 or more days. So what this means is that when you're looking at your profit and loss statement, most of you will actually be looking at accrued profit as opposed to what you expected, a cash or real profit figure that you could take to the bank and deposit. Accrued profit is not the same as cash or what you might think of as real profit. The accrued figure on your profit and loss statement is the expected profit you might earn at some point in the future after cash spending and all other spending committed to and cash collected plus all other earnings expected to be received are taken into account. Every time that you look at your profit and loss, you are actually looking at a highly subjective figure. It's not an objective indication of the health of your business today. It is an accounting figure that is used to estimate the amount of tax that you owe. And as a result, you cannot rely on it as the only document used to steer your business safely. That is why, with all of our coaching clients, we insist on performing a comprehensive financial health check each month. We look at profitability, cash flow, productivity measures, business ratios, and break-even targets to see where your business is at and what you need to do this month to make the biggest impact on your bottom line.